Emmanuel Amoneke, thank you so much for joining us all the way from Spain. Um, exactly 20 years ago, today, it happened for Nigeria. You were a part of it. You scored a winning goal against Argentina. Can you relieve those memories for us on Sports Tonight? Good evening, Tony. Yeah. I think uh, good evening. We are, well, I could say I'm privileged. I'm happy that after 20 years and I'm witnessing another Olympic coming up in Rio. It was a very good moment in our football. It was a very good moment in African football. I think that was the first time a team from Africa winning the gold medal in football. And, uh, and that was the beginning of the era of African football. Uh, the next Olympic came on Cameroon to, to win it again. But I think uh, I personally, I was happy that I was part of that team. That team was, was made up with a, a lot of pro, uh, good players that came from different parts of the country. And uh, we were able to work together collectively. And at the end of the day, we achieved our objectives. But Emmanuel Amunike, a lot of people will want to know what, what I know that a month to the game, a lot of people were um, doubting if our dream, our team was a dream team or a dreaming team because we lost to Togo uh, in Lagos and everybody wrote up the team. But this team was still able to go out there and achieve Olympic gold for Nigeria. Tell us what you went through to making that happen. Well, I could remember too, we all traveled all the way from Nigeria first to Tallahassee. That was where we made our preparation. Of course, uh, uh, we are aware that we have a lot of good players individually. And thanks to the coach, Bonfrey Joe, who came up with uh, uh, you know, awareness in terms of the tactical behavior uh, for we to play collectively, not to dwell on, on, on individual. But we were focusing on playing for one another. We are focusing on fighting for one another in the field of play. Of course, we started our journey with Japan, which we won 1-0, and then losing to, uh, to Brazil. And eventually, we qualified in that group, playing Mexico, and then playing Brazil in the semifinal. Uh, but of course, you know, like I said earlier, we all are determined because we, we are aware that we have a lot of good players. According to what Bonfrey told us, from the beginning of the tournament, uh, he believes in the team. He believes in the ability of the players, and uh, he was able to guide it, uh, He was able to guide us to one direction, and we, at the end of the day, we all achieve our objectives collectively. Both the coaches and the uh, and the players, everybody was happy at the end of that tournament, and everybody begins to realize that uh, Nigeria as a country has a lot of potential players. Africa has a lot of potential players. But before I allow you to go, Emmanuel, let's talk about the present time. Exactly 20 years ago, this happened in Atlanta. The current team, uh, Olympic Eagles, are in Atlanta. Well, somehow, stranded in Atlanta as we speak, they have a game against Japan tomorrow. What message, if you had a chance to speak to Samson Siasia or speak to the boys, what message would you be giving them? Uh, what lessons can they draw from what you guys were able to do 20 years ago? Well, I think I have to tell them, so, well, first of all, we have to be realistic. It's unfortunately what our football is passing through. But the reality is that uh, Olympic is not something that they played every year. It's something that comes every four years. And uh, if the players are privileged to be part of this event that is going to take place in Brazil, I think they should, they should, they should you know, look forward. They should believe in themselves, regardless of the situations they find themselves regardless of what they are going through, they should remember that, uh, you know, uh, they, they are playing for themselves, they are playing for the country, and they, at the end of the day, with hard work and effort and discipline, I believe God will see them through. They just have to put everything they are going behind them and look forward to the positive angle of the game. Hmm. Emmanuel Amonike, thank you so much uh, for, for speaking to us. Once again, we remember 20 years ago, we congratulate you for the role you played. And we believe that you still have so much to give uh, to Nigerian football. We wish you the best um, in your future endeavors. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm.